What is it really like to live in Pecan Plantation? Well, stay tuned, because I'm gonna share that next. I'm Rebecca Van Buren, and I am a licensed real estate agent here in the state of Texas, and I live and work in Pecan Plantation. And I got this fantastic email last night, and I just thought, this is such a good email. I'm going to go ahead and make a video because I get people that watch my YouTube channel, and so I'm constantly getting emails or questions uh, specific and general about pecan. And I just love this email. I just felt like they're asking some really fantastic questions. And then I think, you know, this is a really good email to be able to respond to in video because there's a lot of information and it could really benefit a lot of people. So the situation is there is a buyer and um, they are, have found me on YouTube and they've got questions. They're looking at purchasing in pecan plantation, they think because it's a really nice place and they currently live out of state. So here are some of their questions. The first questions they said is, we are attracted to a safe, active community with amenities close by, you know, not too far away. And we do like Costco though. So we're not sure how far that is from you. I love that. I love Costco too. So yes, I think that our community in Pecan is absolutely a safe and active community. It is safe because we have guarded and gated security. We have a security patrolling through Pecan Plantation 24 seven. You know, we're a small community. Well, I, we're actually a big community now that I, I say that. There's 3,000 homes in Pecan, so I, I think that is a big community. Uh, but it's it still has a very small, safe feel to me. So we moved to Pecan about 19 years ago, almost 20 years ago. And the amenities, absolutely fantastic amenities. We are an amenity-rich community. Um, I've got some other videos here. If you follow my playlist for Pecan Plantation, where I discuss some of the amenities. And uh, so you can watch those videos. Uh, Costco. Yeah, I love me some Costco. Our Costco and our Sam's Club are just right across the highway from each other. And they're in Fort Worth. And they're about 35 miles from Pecan Plantation. So really easy to go out the front gate, go down Fall Creek Highway, turn on 377, you get up to I-20, and you're in the southwest part of Fort Worth. And that's where the Costco is. I've got that Costco visa that pays me back so that I get a coupon to go and spend my money at Costco. <laughs> I love it, I love it. We've got the Pecan Activity Center. We've got walking trails, bike riding trails. We've got water activities. The second thing they said is we're also looking for good health care nearby since we're not getting any younger. Amen, none of us are. Are there good health care options around Pecan Plantation? Is it easy to find dentists, primary care, and specialty doctors? Well, I'm going to say a good 100% yes on that. So, in Pecan, we have got what's called the Pecan Village. That's up there where the grocery store is. There's a bank up there. There's a, a charcuterie uh, place. There is a physical therapy office, and there's also the Pecan Medical Center. So the Pecan Medical Center is just an arm of the Glen Rose Medical Center. In Granbury, we've got Lake Granbury Medical Center. That is a fantastic hospital, in my opinion. I had Jessica there, she's 16. I loved my doctor, I loved their staff. I had a wonderful experience with my second child at Lake Granbury Medical Center. So Glen Rose Medical Center is gonna be in Glen Rose, Texas, which is um, kind of outside of the back gate of Pecan in that direction. It's in Somerville County. And uh, they have the office in Pecan called Pecan Medical Center. They've got doctors, they've got physician's assistants, They've got labs. You can get any lab work done there. It seems to me anything I've ever had done. And I will tell you that I love Pecan Medical Center so much. I'm actually, our, the person that I see has seen three generations in my family. My grandmother went to her, my dad and mom went to her, and I go to her. So um, I think she's fantastic. So um, absolutely, that's primary care. You can go in there and get your lab work done. Say you're gonna go have a colonoscopy and you have to go over to the Glen Rose Medical Center and get that done there. You know, they you just call and you make your appointment and they're like, you know, come in on you know Tuesday, don't have anything to eat or drink or just have black coffee in the morning. You get your blood work drawn. You literally just take your golf car up to Pecan Medical. You go in, 
You sign in, they come, they get you, you give your blood, you're done. It's so simple. And they have resources to probably every type of specialty care you can imagine. Fortunately, I'm very, very healthy. My dad did, however, have Parkinson's. And so um, he utilized the Pecan Medical Center quite a bit. There's also a physical therapy office that I know tons of people that have gone to that for some sort of a rehab. That's just inside of Pecan. Pecan EMS, I do wanna mention this when we're talking about healthcare, because I think this is fantastic. Pecan Plantation is such a great community. We have the Pecan EMS, which is our fire and uh, you know our emergency services. They are a separate corporation inside of Pecan Plantation. They have a separate board, but they are amazing. So Jennifer, my oldest, is in college, but when she was about four, she was running through the house and our dog at the time, he was really big, probably 100 pounds, cowboy, he uh, you know, was running behind her and she stopped and he slid into her and then her head hit the, like the door jam. Oh my gosh, I was a first time mom, I have this young child and she's starting to get this gigantic whelp on her head. Pecan EMS is our 911 service provider and probably within minutes, I have six people in my living room. It was wonderful. We have the absolute best care and about a best emergency resources here. If I needed to, they could have taken her to the hospital. They could have flown her by helicopter to uh, cook children's. I mean, it was wonderful. If you've ever have to use our pecan EMS, you will be a true believer in how awesome it is to have that. And speaking of EMS and care flight and flying someone, we have the Acton Municipal Utility District is our water service provider in Pecan Plantation. And on your AMUD bill, this is an actual copy of my AMUD bill, there are two charges on here. One is for Texas Medical Texas EMS for $1, and one is for Medical Care Flight for $1. So that is the ambulance service and the helicopter service that you, because you live in Pecan Plantation and you pay these $2, you are saving yourself thousands of dollars if you ever require to be put in a helicopter and taken somewhere. I've had a friend that crashed his golf car. He's older, golf car fell over on him. The battery acid poured out on his foot and he had to be mm -hmm. sent mm -hmm. over to uh Parkland in Dallas. And I'm telling you, they can get you there quick. This is like a $40,000 helicopter ride. And the cool thing about our pecan EMS is they don't do balance billing. So they don't, whatever they submit to your insurance and your insurance pays, that's it. They don't take a bill and then send it to you and require you to pay the rest of it. This is one of the most amazing things in pecan plantation is the ability to get where you need. If you get shot, God forbid, you wanna to go to JPS. If you get burnt, you wanna to go to Parkland. If you're having some sort of cardiac arrest, you wanna to go to Med City and they can get you there. So I just think that's fantastic. Okay, so looking for good health, not getting any younger, dentist. Yeah, there's probably six dentists that I know of, dentist offices in Pecan. Uh, my husband goes to one dentist. He doesn't like to change because he has, you know, he requires more uh, crown work and things like that. So he's been with the same dentist probably the entire time we've been here. I've had my same dentist for years, but I mean, I'm just going for a cleaning. I've never had a cavity. So uh, easy schmeasy, but easy to get to. With my dad having Parkinson's, he needed a lot of specialty care. And so I was very thankful that we had resources for that as well. So uh, let's see here. The other thing, is DFW the closest airport and is there a shuttle service to the airport? Well, of course we're in Pecan Plantation, so uh, we've got two airstrips. So if you know a pilot that can run you around, uh, that's one way to go. But yes, as far as an airport is concerned, DFW is the closest airport. And we just sent Jennifer back to College Station on uh, Martin Luther King Day, which was uh, last Monday. And my husband took her to the airport. It was in the evening. And he said it took him about an hour and 10 minutes to get from Pecan to DFW. So that's about the distance. We also have Love Field, which is over in Dallas, and it's going to be a little bit further away. But, you know, DFW is an amazing hub. So um, 
Let's see. We have lived in many states and have that learned that it is best for us to try to be aware as much as possible about fixed monthly costs so we can be prepared. Anything you can share about costs would be helpful. So first of all, Pecan is a mandatory membership homeowners association. You have a one-time fee to get in here. The initiation plus the transfer fee currently, and this is January of 2023, the current initiation and transfer fee plus tax equals $5,080.43, one time only. But what you are going to have to pay monthly is going to be your monthly assessment. So if you have one home on one lot, your monthly assessment, including trash, is $199.23. If you have purchased a lot that doesn't have a home on it, you don't require trash service, your lot assessment fee is going to be $182.75. But for most of it, it's $199.23. And then anything that you spend or consume at the club, if you put it on your member charge, well, that's going to show up on your monthly statement and you're going to have to pay for that or any club that you join. Like I'm a part of the, the beautification committee in Pecan and that's like $25 a year. I'm part of the Pooch Plantation and you know I pay $25 a year for that or, or something to that effect. It's not an exorbitant amount of money, but any type of products or memberships that you're joining because you've chosen to join, you can have billed on your account, which would make your account be higher than the normal $199.23. Or if you have kids that go up to the club during the summer and put everything on the account when they buy their friends drinks and food, then that's going to be on there. But that's a that's a family management issue, not a pecan issue. <laughs> so um, let's see. We've always been a little afraid of Texas because of property taxes being higher than most states. What is the property tax rate in pecan plantation? And then can you give us an estimate on the HOA fees, utility costs, home and insurance, property taxes? Okay, so that's interesting. I am. I live in Texas. I've never lived in New York. I've never lived in California. I really always thought we had cheap property taxes. You know, I thought people come to Texas because land is readily available. It's easy to find employment and that our taxes are lower. So we don't have a state tax, but, but maybe I'm wrong. But I will tell you what our taxes are so that you can compare that to whatever you're paying or whatever you think is reasonable or unreasonable. So the property taxes in Texas, well, excuse me, in Granbury, we pay $1.33 per $100 in value. Over in Dallas, they're paying over $2. So I really thought that our property tax rate was pretty low, uh, but it may not be depending on where you're coming from. And then let me give you an idea about the HOA. We talked about the HOA fees, about utility cost. So I'm just going to use my own personal home. I live in a, a very well-built home. It's a one-story house. It's over 3,000 square feet. I've got a couple of AC units. And um, my utilities, of course, I've got a, I got a big old swimming pool because that probably has a lot to do with it. But back when I moved to Pecan originally 19 years ago, our only electric service provider was TXU. Well, now uh, the electric service is deregulated. So you have the power to choose who your electric service provider is in Pecan. So there is a website called powertochoose.org and you can put in your zip code, you can put in your information about what you estimate your uh, kilowatt hour usage is and it can help you identify based on your particular situation what would be the best utility service provider for your electricity. Because some people wanna be in a contract, some people don't wanna be in contract. Some people wanna be on you know, the average billing, some people don't. So it's real specific to you, but I will give you an idea. I pay a service, $10 a month, and I got this from my sister-in-law in Fort Worth. It's been great. It's a service that basically shops rates, shops contracts for electric service based on my usage. So it's been worth the $10 a month that I've paid. And my uh, average electric bill is 350 bucks a month. But I'm also a family of four, my oldest is in college, but my youngest is a teenager. They keep the AC on 64 degrees at night and 72 during the day. And yes, I'm absolutely freezing all the time. But um, so I would think that my average usage is going to be a little bit higher than other people's. And then just another note. So I have... Uh, the power to choose in pecan. My office is outside of pecan plantation and I don't have a choice who my electric service provider is. 
I can only use United Co-op. They've been a fantastic service provider, so I have no complaints. And I think that's pretty good when they monopolize the area and you don't complain about them. Um, but inside Pecan, you do have a choice about who your electric service provider is. Let's talk about the other utility, which is water. So our water is provided to us from the Acton Municipal Utility District. We call it AMUD. So AMUD is our water service provider. And now in some parts of Pecan, this is not all parts, but in some parts of Pecan, people have orchard water. So the developer retained the rights to own this water and they can resell it to people in Pecan. Some people can have two water bills. Your AMUD water is gonna be the water that comes into your home. This is what you're brushing your teeth with. This is what's coming out of your faucet. You're washing your hands with. It's great. So that is a mud that comes into your home. And then some folks have orchard water, which is like a third less the cost of a mud water. And that is for irrigating your yard. So it's got a, like a high salt content. So it's kind of a brackish water and uh, St. Augustine loves it. And, you know, it, it might not be good for all plants, but, you know, you, you find out what it works for if you have that. But you're certainly having a tremendous cost savings. So my I do not have orchard water at my home and my average water bill is one hundred and forty three dollars a month. But I also think that that's high because I have a gigantic uh, 35 by 17 swimming pool that has a seven foot spa. And I mean, I've got 22,000 gallons of water in there and it evaporates and we constantly have to put more water in there. So I think my usage is probably kind of high, but you know, it's all depending on, on your family. Now let's talk about homeowner's insurance. I do not escrow my taxes and insurance. Uh, so some people, uh, what that means is if you get a mortgage and your lender requires you to have prepayments up front where they collect some of your homeowner insurance, then they collect your taxes. And so you as a homeowner are only paying one payment every single month to your mortgage servicer, your Wells Fargo or whatever, and they hold an escrow account and then they will pay your taxes at the end of the year and they will pay your insurance whenever it's due quarterly or every six months or however that's set up. That's called escrowing your taxes and insurance. I don't do that. I'm responsible to pay my own taxes at the end of the year, and I'm responsible to pay my own homeowner's insurance at the end of the year. So my homeowner's insurance is about $3,000 a year for my home. And I think that's probably a good standard number. Certainly it depends on the, the valuation of the property. But, um, you know, there's also some ways to save money on your taxes, homesteading your home. Also, if you're a disabled veteran, I think there's some possibilities for you to be able to have tremendous tax savings on your property. Uh, so all of those things are really specific to whoever the buyer is or the homeowner. So uh, let's see here. We are active. We like to walk. We like to bike. We like to ride our bicycles, kayak, paddleboard. We love outside and nature. Uh, well, you're going to be in the right place in Pecan. We have a lot of really fantastic walking trails. I know I've got one video of one of the walking trails that I took my dog on, and it was the first time I ever went on it. It's behind the club, and it's got this switchback that goes back and forth. It's very undulating. We've also got around the Pecan Activity Center, there's a whole walking trail over there, and it's even marked with the distance so you can know how many miles you're walking. We um, have bicyclists all over Pecan. I remember my husband got into this Canadel bike. I don't know what it was, but the tires were like that thin. And he used to love to ride around on Ravenswood because it's just hilly and oh, he loved it. It was great exercise for him. Kayaking, paddleboarding, maybe not so much paddleboard. I haven't seen a lot of paddleboards uh, in Pecan. They are, they, people do have them, but I think they're kind of heavy to move. But if you want to take your paddleboard and put it into Lake Granberry, absolutely. We have a marina, we have a boat ramp that you can access, but also around the Pe Pecan Plantation Peninsula is the Brazos River. So at our front entrance, we have a place where you can put in a canoe, where you can drive your, you could put a kayak in there, you could put a paddleboard in there, 
um, if paddleboard is what I'm thinking about, is the paddleboard, isn't that the thing that you're, that the two of you are sitting there and you're paddling together? I'm thinking that's a paddleboard, but maybe you're talking about a paddleboard, like standing up on something, but uh, we, we do have lots of water around here and depending upon, you know, whether in a drought or not is how much water is actually in the Brazos River. So my husband and I have taken a canoe we've put in at the front gate and we've canoed all the way down to the 8,500 block of pecan. I mean, it was like three miles on the outside. So sometimes the water could be up and moving. And then sometimes you're dragging that canoe. So uh, that's if you're going to get in on the Brazos River, but you can always take it over to Lake Granberry and you can enjoy canoeing, fishing, all sorts of water activities. Wildlife. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. That's one of my favorite things in pecan. We have deer. There's deer everywhere. I love in the spring when all the little baby bambies are out and they have their little white spots. Oh, and then I love in the fall when you see all of the, the male deer in velvet and they've got these beautiful horns. We have deer, we have wild turkey, turkey, we have skunks. We sometimes have wild pigs. Those come across the river when the water's low. You don't ever see them on the golf course, but you know, I have seen some wild pigs before. We have possums and we have skunks and we have armadillos. And so, you know, you'll see all of that under the culvert at our house, right in the front yard. We've got a culvert on our driveway and so does our neighbor. And sometimes there's a little skunk family that uh, lives under there. And I see those. Um, we've got bird, wildlife, geese. On that switchback trail that's behind the clubhouse, there is a bald eagle's nest. It's amazing. These eagles are gigantic and you can see them. So that's really, really cool. Certainly we have a lot of wildlife to enjoy. Let's see here. We are active. I got that one. Then we work from home. So we need really good, dependable internet. Yeah, I agree. So at my house, I have fiber optics uh, AT&T UVerse is my internet service provider. Um, I live up towards the club. When I used to live out on Ravenswood, um, I had Charter Cable, which is now Spectrum, which is also a nice service provider. So we certainly have high-speed internet. We're not that far in the country that we're not exposed to that. So um, all of these great, great, great questions. I hope that I have been able to just touch on some of the fantastic yeah. aspects of living in yeah. Pecan yeah. and giving you some idea of the cost. Um, I really do appreciate you watching. Please hit subscribe and stay tuned as I post videos weekly about pecan plantation and Granberry and the surrounding areas. And as always, um, if you've got any questions, reach out to me. I would love to help you. Make it a great day.